hi youtube so today's video is a little bit differently yes i have my full face on already but today we are just focusing on our lips today is gonna be more of like i guess you can call it a nude lip tutorial just because there's so many different types of nude lips that you can wear and I know a lot of people have some problems with them. My thing is, the key to wearing a nude lip, in my opinion, is the right liner. So, with that being said, I'm going to use Viva Glam 2 from MAC, Chestnut Lip Liner, and a Dazzle Glass Gloss. And that's going to be my combo for this little nude lip cocktail that I'm about to put on. Now... I know I've said this before in some of my previous videos about how important liners are to me. Like, I'm about to prove to you and show you why liners are so important. Now, the lipstick that I'm about to put on, I'm going to show it to you with and without the liner. Just so you can see how crazy I'm going to look without it. And also, excuse my brows. I'm going to go get them done today, but I wanted to record this um tutorial before i left but yeah i'm getting them waxed today so just don't pay any attention to them okay so the first thing to do is i'm going to line my lips and i normally like to line my lips and then kind of fill it in a little bit with the liner you'll see as i'm doing it I know this looks crazy right now, but trust me, it will look nice. Now, the reason why I I don't mind going with a darker liner like this dark because when I put the lipstick on, I slightly go over the liner with the lipstick to help it blend out easier. Now, I'm going to take my lipstick in Viva Glam 2 and I'm going to put that on. And then at this point, you can just kind of go and adjust um, the liner and the lipstick to how you like. Now, I could leave my lip like this, but I'm not. I'm going to add my gloss on top. And I'm just using a Dazzle Glass from MAC in Little Rock. This one was from the um, Marilyn Monroe collection, but... There's, it's just a plain sparkly um, gloss, so any gloss with glitter or any clear gloss with glitter for a nude lip is going to look really pretty. And the gloss just kind of helps blend everything together and marry the colors. And that's it. Like, that's a really simple nude lip. Now, I know at first with the liner it was so dark, but that was the whole point in going over the liner with the lipstick to help blend that out in case you do like to do liners darker. Now, I'm going to take this lipstick off and I'm going to put the exact same lipstick on without a liner. <laughs> Pray for me. So I'm going to take that same Viva Glam 2 lipstick and now I'm just going to apply it by itself. <laughs> I'm sorry, I keep laughing because I've never worn this lipstick without a liner. I've worn a few liners with it and I love them all. I have never worn it without a liner. So, <sighs> okay. <laughs> no, that's bad. I 
I don't know. I feel like I need to be scratching and shaking, like, <sighs> like I, that's what I feel like I look like right now. So this is exactly why I do not half of the colors that I own. I would not. In fact, what the freak? Let's take this off. okay all right so say if you don't like chestnut and you feel like it's a little bit too dark or you feel like a liner like that is too dark you have other options so for instance one of my other my my personal like my favorite lip liner for nude lips whether it's Viva Glam 2 no matter what lipstick I'm wearing if it's a nude nine times out of ten I will use cork liner from Mac and that works amazingly so I'm going to show you the same lipstick but now I'm going to use cork liner which is a little bit darker I mean no cork liner is a little bit lighter sorry I'm doing the same thing I do this with like I told you I do this with all my liners. I always slightly fill in my lips because my, all of my, every lipstick I wear, my liners. Okay, so now cork is on. So now I'm going to take my Viva Glam 2 and I'm going to apply that. See, same lipstick, just a, a lighter lip line, and I think it looks just as pretty like this. And now what I'm going to do is just apply the same um, Dazzle Glass gloss on top. see you see and it's just a pretty nude lip there's so many variations of a nude lip that you can do like Viva Glam 2 for instance this is a lipstick that it's a nude but it has more pinkish undertones to it now you don't notice that too much because with the brown lip liners that kind of counteracts with the pink and like tones it down a little bit so you see more of that brown but you can do a lighter nude you can do a darker nude you can do more of like a peachy undertone nude, more of like a brown undertone nude. There's so many different nudes that you can do. Liners are going to be like your BFFs to me with nude lips. Whether you're lighter than me, darker than me, lip liners just make lipsticks look better. And because a lot of lip lipsticks to me need help. Like if I just walked into a store if I walked into the store saw this color tried it on I would have been like oh no like I would not like it but pairing it with the liner love it adding that little gloss on top makes the world of difference again it's all in personal preference you do you have you have people who just don't like lip liners who will not use them they don't care a lipstick could look really pretty on them if they would just add like a liner but you know they don't want to and I'm that's fine that is all fine but I'm just showing like the different options that you can have because you know it's easy to look like a crackhead when wearing a nude lip like I'm sorry it's real easy to like have it look all bad and it's just not cute so yeah Hopefully, I hope you guys found this helpful. Take a little, took something from it. Just next time you go buy a new lip and you're wondering for what reason it's just not looking right, whether it's hella light or whatever the case may be, hopefully now you think maybe I should pair a liner with it. But yeah, again, thank you guys so much for watching. Um... I will see you guys in my next video. Toodles. Mwah.